All right, so welcome back to the civil FE exam review. In this video, we're going to be wrapping up materials, which is section uh, seven in the civil FE exam review handbook. Um, and we're going to be looking at physical and mechanical properties of metals. So I have a few practice problems for you today that I want to dive right into. All right, so. This one says, what is a key characteristic of steel that makes it suitable for applications subjected to dynamic loading and impact forces? Okay. So we're looking at steel. High compressive strength, BA. So the given information, we know that we're talking about steel here and um, uh, find the reason for dynamic loading. Okay. Are there any formulas? No. Okay. So from this, this is kind of like prior knowledge. Um, A, would it be high compressive strength? In this case, no. So when you think of high compressive strength, normally you think of uh, concrete, that type of, that type of thing. Um, low density, I don't see how that helps us with dynamic loading and impact forces, high toughness. Uh, yes, I mean, you need something to be, you need your steel to be pretty tough, especially when loading can happen or high impact instances can happen. Um, if you think about like a, a bridge, right? Now you may not have, let's see if I can make this bridge look good. Oh, that was close. Okay, so say you have a car coming on it, right? At full speed. So. like a little shoe or some roller skates. If you have this type of impact, you need something that's tough for it not to collapse or fracture um, at the given moment. And so like when it, when you have the car, you know, going across the bridge, you don't need the bridge to fracture right then and there, right? So this is why steel, Steel has, um, I don't know if you know that st stress strain curve, but basically it has a, a good amount. It can handle a lot of stress, and a lot of strain. And after it absorbs all of that stress and strain, as long as it doesn't, you know, reach its yield point, then it goes right back to its original state. Now, for other materials, there are sometimes fractures or like with wood, right? If you had a, a wood bridge, you may need way more material uh, to be able to get the same results as a um, tough piece of steel or thin piece of steel, all right? So, um, and if that, car drives over that wood frame, it could crack or it could, you know, rupture faster. So you need something that's super tough and that's why steel is able to, to benefit there. And then high thermal conductivity, it's not a lot of heat and 
um i don't think steel i mean if you put steel under really high heat i don't i don't know if it does that well probably melts so i don't know if you want to it's known for that and it, and i don't think that is going to help with dynamic loading and impact so answer is c all right let's look at number two so why is specific gravity an important parameter in aggregates for concrete mix design all right so this one isn't really a this is one that you would need prior knowledge on so specific gravity parameter in aggregates for concrete mix design so it indicates the color of the aggregates no let's look at see if anything comes up for a specific gravity So what is specific gravity, right? Well, specific gravity is the specific weight of something over the, so just say SG is equal to like in concrete mix design is the And I'm just pulling this information from fluid mechanics, but basically it is the um, specific weight and in this case it will be like concrete over the specific weight of water. So does this indicate the color of aggregates? No. That's why logically some of this stuff just doesn't make sense. It affects the sound absorption properties of concrete. No. Sound? No. Absorption properties of concrete. Okay. It influences the proportioning of aggregates in the mix design. Yes. So you got, um, you know, your specific weight or amount of aggregate to water, right? In this uh, concrete mix. So, and it determines the fineness modulus of aggregates so is it determining how fine the fineness modulus no no and even if it did i would say the better answer is still c because <laughs> I, I technically don't know what the fineness modulus is but for concrete mix um you're looking at specific weight and you're not determining like how fine or not fine something is to to get your specific gravity of the mix hey everybody I know I didn't take time to formally introduce myself at the beginning, so I did want to let you know who I am and how I can best serve you as you're studying for your civil FE exam. So my name is James Huntley, and I am a civil engineer who has helped hundreds of individuals pass and dominate their civil FE exam. Now, I know this test is tough. And as you're going through material, you may be saying, 
uh, I don't remember learning this stuff or gosh, these variables are so confusing or you just feel like you're really, really busy and there's so much material that you need to go through that it's a bit overwhelming. So I did want to let you know that I do help and work with individuals one on one to ensure that they pass their civil FE exam. And I've had individuals that have worked with me for 10 weeks and that's the longest that it has been. And I've had individuals that have worked with me for two weeks and we went back to back day after day after day, hours on hours on hours, putting in the work, um, working together to ensure that they went ahead and passed. Right. And this exam is so important because I know that you want to make more money. Um, I know that you want to, you know, get some promotions and be able to further your career and have your PE. So definitely want to open and extend a hand out. Want to be able to save you time, right? Because I know some people that watch my videos, you may have been watching my videos for six, nine, even 12 months, and you still haven't passed your civil FE exam. And that is the one thing that's keeping you from making more income, more impact, and furthering your career. So it's definitely costing you um, money, resources, everything. So looking to create more success stories, um, I am looking to work with individuals one on one. I want to hop on Zoom with you. I want you to share what you're doing as you're solving these problems so I can spot out what you may be struggling with and open your eyes so that you're not going into this test completely blind. Now, for some of you, you may have failed a test once, twice, had some people fail five times, um, or you may be wanting to take this test initially and you just wanna make sure that you pass it up front. So do have one-on-one -on -one services. I also have some uh, do-it-yourself uh, courses that if you're like, no, I got this, I got it all on my own, I know everything or I, I'm going to take the time to study everything. I do have some resources and materials to be able to help you in that way. But my biggest fear is that you're investing in something, uh, these programs or these courses, and you know, you're not uh, getting back or having proper feedback to help you and to push you forward. You're just giving a bunch of information and no one's sharing with you what you may be actually struggling with or what's keeping you from passing your FE exam. So looking to create a ton of success stories. So feel free um, down in the description box below. I have a ton of resources, including one-on-one -on -one coaching. Let's hop on a call. Uh, it's no cost to you as far as, you know, us talking through your goals and what you're trying to do. Um, and kind of getting a feel for where you're at. Um, so have some programs where I can work with you one-on-one. -on -one, and there's also some do-it-yourself courses, practice exams, study guides, resources, free material, all of that down in the description box below. So feel free to check out that stuff. If you like the video, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. This is what I do. Um, we want to get you to the next phase of your civil engineering career um, and leave a comment if you had any questions about um, what I went through, the information that I covered um, and feel free to um, definitely schedule a call with me and I'm looking forward to creating more success stories. So be sure to check out this next video 